What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Visual B2 strap-free heart rate monitor. It's this thing right here. Alright guys, so well you did send me over this product for review, but you know product agreement will ask you a positive negative review. It's my own thoughts on this product. And they also gave me two more of these to give away to y'all. So make sure to check out the whole video so you know how to win that. So, all right, let's talk about this. This is a heart rate monitor. You know, chest heart rate monitors are much better than the heart rate monitors on your wrist. Just because the area that is measuring on your wrist, it's not the best area. There's a lot of bony parts. Like if it was upper on your forearm, it'd probably be a little better because it's a lot fattier. But because it's on the wrist, there's a lot of bony areas and there's a lot of movement, especially when you're running, that sometimes the optical heart rate monitor on your watch can't measure quite that accurate, especially when we're running. So that's why something like a chest heart rate monitor is gonna be something that you should look to, especially if you're a runner, and especially if you're doing heart rate training. So let's take a look at this WellU chest heart rate monitor. This comes in at 63. 399 which I think is pretty reasonable in the chest heart rate monitor market. So uh, let's take a look at it. Let's do an unboxing first of all. So here's the box right here. We'll take that out. And they have a little magnet over there. And you're greeted with the quick guide. So the quick guide will tell you all the information that you need. Here is the heart rate monitor. It is a little bit longer than most. So there is that. And then you take out the back part and this is the electrode. So this is basically how you're going to be connecting it to your chest. I actually have them on right here, right there. I have them on for here. You can put it on this way. You can actually put it on like this or you can put it down below. So those are the ways you can put it on, but it comes with 15 of those electrodes. I'm not sure why it didn't come with 16. What are you gonna do when you get to that 15 electrode? You're gonna be needing another one. So yeah, uh, it comes with 15, should come with 16. I don't know why they came with that odd number, but it also comes with a strap. So I know a lot of my hairier friends, they were kind of worried that these electrodes would not stick to their chest because they are hairy monsters. Me, I'm not super hairy over here, so uh, it works for me just fine. But if you are a hairier guy, you definitely could have a strap. So the straps are great. That's what we usually run with a strap. And one of the things about a strap that, you know, I run with a strap all the time when I do chest heart rate training, it does get a little bit restrictive. You kind of feel the pressure around your body. Sometimes it get pretty annoying. So it is good that they have a strapless version of a heart rate monitor where you don't have to wear a strap all the time. So let's take a look at how you connect it to the strap. So here's the strap right here. You would just connect it like this and boom, it's connected. And then over here, you can see it has the little uh, contact points where it would contact on your body. You do want to make sure it has a little bit of moisture so that the electrical signals can transmit to the sensor over here. So if we want to put it on on our chest, like I said, we already put them on over here. So I put one over here right in between your pecs. So I put it over there and you just stick it on like that. What I actually did to put this on is stuck the electrodes on the sensor first and then stuck it onto my body. I did wipe it down with some alcohol just to make sure it would stick properly. And I did go on a run earlier and you know, it worked just fine. It was only a two mile run, so it wasn't a super long run, but the electrodes stuck just fine and it was comfortable. I could hardly feel that it was there. I actually wore this with a polar heart rate monitor and we'll take a look at the data right now. So if we do take a look at the data over here, you can see that everything was pretty much the same. There was a little bit of variability, but not too much. So I would say that this chest heart rate monitor works just as well as the Polar H9. That's one I've been using for about a year and a half now. So if you trust the chest heart rate monitor of the Polar, you're gonna trust this one. So the connectivity that this has is iOS and Android compatible. You can use it with both of those. It's also compatible with Bluetooth and Ant Plus devices. So your Garmin devices, your Polar devices, it'll work with those. Although, you know, when I use it with my Polar, for some reason, it connected my Polar watch with Bluetooth, but it did not show the reading on my watch. So that was a little bit of an issue, but it works on the Garmin watch just fine. So if you have a Garmin watch, make sure to use it with that. I will definitely update the description if it does work with my Polar with some further testing. So this battery over here is actually a rechargeable battery. So this, this will work for 48 hours of continuous monitoring, which is a lot. Like you're not gonna be running for 48 hours for most people, right? If you're doing an ultra marathon, maybe. But for most runs, you'll be using it for 30 to 40 minutes and taking off. So this will last you quite a long time. And I've used it for maybe four or five days and there's still a lot of battery left in it. And to charge it, you just connect it to this thing over here. So you just connect it to here, 
same thing, and it connects via a USB port. So you just charge it like that, and about two to three hours, it'll be fully charged, and you can run with it again after that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a heart rate monitor. There's not really much to say. Uh, it does come with a cool little app. You just connect it to the app and it, it'll connect and then it will, you know, load up all the history that you have. So it actually, this, this thing also has memory so it can store your heart rate. You don't need to run with a watch. You don't need to run with your phone. You can just run with the sensor on and then it will upload into your app afterwards. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you go to your dashboard, you'll see right now. Let's go, let's go ahead and see what my heart rate is after when I put it on. So when I put this thing on right here, when I put this thing on, it will sense my heart rate. You can see my PQRST over here. Everything is looking good from what I can tell. Nothing too crazy. A little bit high since I am recording this video. And it also records your ECG up to 30 minutes so you can have that heart rate. And maybe if you are worried about it, you can show that to your doctor. Although this is not a medical device, they say that it is medically accurate. So uh, it's, not med it's not a medical device, but it's medically accurate according to their website. Uh, so you could use it like that. Uh, but then you can see your history. So over here, you can see that I used it over here. You can see my history that I've used it. Good little interesting facts of that. So yeah, it's a heart rate. From what I found, it works just fine. I have compared it to the Polar H9, works just as good. So if you're looking for a chest heart rate monitor that actually records and saves data without a phone, without a watch, this is something that you should look at. The Visual B2 by Wellu is a strapless heart rate monitor, but it does come with a strap. All right guys, so how can you win this? I have two of these to give away. You can win this by joining the Goku Runners Virtual Race Weekend. So this weekend, starting tomorrow, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm having a race. Uh, Friday is gonna be a 5K, Saturday is gonna be a 10K, and the Sunday is gonna be a five mile. So if you run those races, and uh, put it on Strava and send me the details to Goku Runners Virtual Race at gmail.com. You will get an entry to win one of these heart rate monitors right here. So uh, go ahead and check out that link down below so you can win it. All right, guys, so who is this for? I'm gonna say this is for those athletes who are really looking to track their heart rate and want an accurate reading because I don't think that there is a watch out there that is gonna be more accurate than a chest heart rate monitor. You're gonna to want to get a chest heart rate monitor if you want to get accurate reading. So if you're heart rate training, this is gonna be something that you should get. And then what I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a Goku Runners thumbs up. It does work. It's a good price, $63.99. Not too pricey, just right. In fact, it's actually cheaper than some other watches that store data. So uh, Goku Runners thumbs up for sure. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed this review, make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to run the race this weekend so you can win one of these heart rate monitors. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace out.